Some fear them. Most hate them. Hey, fellow, are you talking about us? Uh, no, I was. Well, that, you bloody bastard. Come on, let's get these darn girls ghoulies. Ah! Oh, my. Where's the Belgians? No, the Brits. We're pretty cheeky for a nation that cost two world wars. Okay, let's focus on today's video review before we get sued again. Our lame jokes and bollocks probably gave you a good hint on what's on today's video review. It's about something as British as tea time and blood piling for breakfast. These are the L85A2 from RS and the L86A2 from ICS. Just in case you've never heard of the L85 rifles. These are the service rifles of the British Army. And it has a long, 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 long history of problems and failures. The latest version, which is called the A2 variant, are worked over by Hecker and Koch. It seems like it needs Germans to give the Brits a rifle, which don't drop into pieces in the combat soon. This is the recently released new version of the RS L85A2 assault rifle. It has the RS HA80 grenade launcher attached. The gun itself costs 350 US dollar, the launcher sets you back another 250 US dollar. The body of the L85 is made of stamped steel, which gives it a weight of 4 kg. Add the launcher and you got a total package of some hefty 7 kg. The finish is shiny black with original markings and individual serial numbers engraved. But you don't need to worry about the shininess too much because it scratches off very easily, giving the gun a used look. The ICS L86A2 costs about 500 US dollar. It's the light support weapon variant of the L85. It has a longer barrel, a bipod, and a rear grip. Most metal parts are steel, except for the barrel. It weighs about 4.5 kg and feels very massive. And unlike the real one, I'm not afraid to lose parts of the rifle during a skirmish. The finish is less shiny than on the RS, which makes it look slightly better. The original markings feature an individual serial number. Of course, the added granite launcher doesn't improve handling a bit, but that's the price you have to pay for extra firepower and let's call it a unique look. The granite launcher is not just a pain in the ass to install, but it's wobbling. There's something weird about the cheek grass, the material feels kind of sticky. I don't know what Aris did with that. The front and rear side can be removed to adjust an optional suicide side. Or you can also get an optional scope rail to attach various type of airsoft sides. The launcher adds a side rail to the setup for attaching lights or lasers. Handling is pretty much the same as on any other L85. Only the bipod is a bit tricky to unfold. You may wonder about the rear grip. It's not meant to fire it like a retarded Rambo, but it gives you a solid grip when firing from a prone position. To install the battery, you have to remove the grenade launcher. But at least if it's once installed, you can open this flap and charge the battery by pulling the connector out. I suggest using the RS Special battery for the grenade launcher setup or a very tiny LiPo battery because the space between granite launcher and barrel is very tiny. To adjust the hop up, pull back the bolt lever. Adjust it and press the release to close it. The fire selector on the rear also serves to release the spring. Even the included M16 mid-cap magazine is made of stamped steel, but anyway, it has a lot of play. Installing the battery is pretty easy. Just open the latch on the lower side and the top cover. As you can see, there is enough space for various type of batteries, but it won't fit the ordinary large type batteries. The gun comes with two M16 high cap magazines. This should be enough for the start as a support gunner. The power of the RS is just 270 FPS. That's because it's the European import version. The international version should have around 350 FPS. The vibe of the grenade launch, of course, depends on which grenades you use. Any ordinary 40mm airsoft grenade will do. Just press this button and the spring-loaded bell will jump open. Add the grenade, close it, 
disengage your safety and you're ready to go. The ICS L86 is also the European version and has about 270 FPS. The international version should have 400 FPS. The RS L85 can't fully convince me. I really like the fugly but futuristic look of the grenade launcher, but it's wobbling and of course it makes the gun a lot front heavy and generally heavy. Of course, you could always remove the grenade launcher and use it without it, but then it would just be another bull pop rifle. So there would be nothing special without the grenade launcher. I have to say I'm pretty surprised. I didn't expect that ICS makes such a rock solid and good looking airsoft gun. If you like to use it as a light support weapon, get yourself a high voltage battery and a bunch of high caps and you're ready to go. If you install a precise inner barrel and a suicide scope, you can use it as marksman rifle as well. That's it for today's video review. Bloody hell! This bastard does it again! Aye! Seems like the smackhead needs another jobo lesson. See you at the next video review. Bye!